Okay, let me ask you a question. Today we're going to start a new series, but let me ask you this question. What do you think in the equation of productivity is the most important aspect of it? What do you think is the most important resource, the most important tool in terms of personal productivity? What do you think that is? You know, people will say time, and maybe I will agree with them. People will say the technology that you're using, uh, might not agree with them and so on. But I can tell you this without further ado, that the most important aspect of personal productivity is the person. That's why they normally tell you that the most important resource for any organization is the human resource. And in this new series that we are starting, we're going to look at how you can get me time for overly busy people. I mean, your calendar is full from morning to evening. How do you get me time? Because you are the most important person in the equation of productivity, in the equation of your productivity. You are the most important person, which means you need to take care of yourself. But how? All right, stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Well, first of all, we need to talk about productivity itself. There is, a, there is a, a lie or there is this trap that we fall into where we are so active, we are always in motion, but at the end of the day when push comes to shove, we are not necessarily productive. See, I've just come off of a very great series the past several episodes, maybe eight or so episodes, we were talking about potential. And we say that it is possible for us to do stuff that does not excavate our potential. And so today, what do we mean when we talk about productivity? Because productivity is one of the biggest aspects of these episodes, of this podcast. We talk about purpose, we talk about productivity, and then we talk about resilience. I do believe that you and I do exist on this face of the earth for the sole purpose of being productive. God, in the Bible, says, be fruitful. That means being, being productive. Basically, you can sum up Genesis 1.28 by saying, be productive. It says, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over it. That's it. That's being productive. That's why we were here. Imagine all these things were created and they were just sideshows. The sun, the moon, the stars, the fish and all. They were sideshows and then the ultimate guy is created and then he's given a command. All this time around you don't hear God saying nothing. Then he opens his mouth and says, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion on it. In other words, be productive. How are we going to be productive? And what is productivity at the end of the day? Productivity, in my own definition, I think it is being the best version of yourself in accordance to the standards of your intended design. In other words, whoever created you had a design for your creation and a purpose for your creation. To be productive is to stay within those lines of purpose And do that which you can be able to do. And ever so excellently. You know there is efficiency and there is effectiveness. Both of them have got to come into the play. 
of productivity. You've got to be efficient as in you've got to be effective doing the thing that you are meant to do. And at the same time, you've got to be efficient using the most minimal way and the most excellent way to make it done and dusted. That is being productive. So we, we're talking about productivity in these episodes. But then we're realizing that you at the most important equation in the productivity mathematics. <laughs> you are, you see, if we removed you from the equation of your productivity, it's it. I mean, it's, there is the end. Therefore, you and I, in terms of productivity, are the most important people involved. And therefore, we must take care of ourselves. If we don't take care of ourselves, we will not be productive. I kid you not. It goes without saying. Do you remember the day you were in hospital, bedridden? How was that counting for your productivity? And how did you end up in that hospital bed in the first place? Was it because of your choices? Lifestyle choices? I'm told these days the lifestyle diseases are killing more people than these communicable diseases. I mean, we talk about coronavirus wasting people away, but on a daily basis, do you know how many people are dying of blood pressure, um, um, things that are related to these non-communicable diseases? There are actually much more people that are dying from non-communicable diseases because of lifestyle choices. And how did you end up in that hospital bed? See, was it a choice or is it just something that happened to you? My point is simply this, that you need to take care of yourself. I need to take care of myself so that I can become productive. You know, in my first job, I I know I've shared this very many times. I'll never forget this. You know what I used to do? I used to be, uh, you know, the, the glorified name is IT consultant or instructor. But uh, in reality, my work involved teaching people Windows 98 and Windows 95. I kid you not. Teaching people, this is called an icon. This is called uh, a recycle bin. If you want to open it, you double click with the mouse. This is called a mouse. This big thing is called a CPU. You know, we used to have those big CPUs and so on. This is called the monitor of the computer. The computer has three parts. And that's what I used to do. But you know, the work involved getting there at office, if you've got to teach people well, you've got to be there early in the morning, make sure that your machines are set up, you know, they're formatted, they're working, they're cleaned up and so on. And your students find you in class. And I used to teach one-on-one they find you in class and so seven o'clock i'm there for you to be there at seven o'clock guess what time you must have woken up and then the problem is that that job went with lessons all the way up to eight because we had evening students all the way up to eight in the evening you've got an evening student coming in and what happens you've got to teach them and so you can imagine you have a work day that starts before 6 o'clock and that ends after 9 o'clock. And you repeat it all the weekdays plus a Saturday. And I tell you, on Sundays, I just used to die. Very many times I burnt food because I put food on the fire and I went to take a snooze. But I, I ended up sleeping for four hours straight like a corpse. Why? Because I was not taking care of myself. I am the most important person in the equation of productivity. And so in these episodes, I want us to discuss how in the world are we going to get me time. Me time so that we can be productive. Me time so that we can recuperate. Me time so that we can refresh ourselves and reboot ourselves and go at it again. There is absolutely nothing as powerful as rest. Let me tell you, in the equation of productivity, in the equation of productivity, there is nothing as powerful as me time. The time that you're spending to take care of yourself, 
take care of your mind, take care of your body, take care of your spirit. There is nothing as powerful as that. In fact, I can easily say that in the equation of productivity, in the mathematics of productivity, in the equation of productivity, rest is as equally powerful as work itself. I mean, God cherished work so much so that he allowed us to rest, commanded, in fact, that we should rest. And therefore, we need to start looking at our productivity from this angle. And I'm one of those guys who are so hell-bent on activity and action and action and action and action to such an extent that I seldom take some time to rest. In fact, I normally think that resting is a waste of time. That that time I'm using to rest, I should have been using it to do something else. But there are some days or some weeks that I have done absolutely nothing, just recuperating. And I tell you, it is one of the most productive things you can ever do to rest, to recuperate, so that you can be a productive human being. So I want us to start discussing in these episodes, determine how in the world are we going to get the me time that uh, we can use to get some quality rest so we can beef up ourselves so that we can go back again because at the end of the day without you who is going to do the work you are the most important person in the equation and i know we need to balance here of course there are some guys who like i've just shared with you earlier on i didn't have okay in my thinking i didn't have another option maybe there are very many other options at that moment in time But the problem with me, do you know my biggest problem? I stayed with that job for five years, six years, I think, maybe even seven, I I can't remember. With this mentality that if I get out of this job, maybe... And let me tell you, things normally used to happen to me. I would all of a sudden start vomiting, you know, throwing up. Just, and you have just these symptoms of being sick. And you go to the doctor... And they do a battery of tests. They test for this, they test for that, they test for this. It's nothing. And then they tell you, dude, you are fatigued. You are overworking yourself. You are wasting away that body. That body is not a machine. You see, the elements that we normally use to, people normally use to these terminologies for machines when the Industrial Revolution came, you know, they are the same terminologies that they're now using for Uh, people you know overworking breaking down and so on people are breaking down people are being overworked and and, and so on and so forth why because they think that the most best way to be productive is to be productive as in to keep taking action without necessarily resting that is counterintuitive so in this coming up series i want us to to start talking about those things in a deeper dimension how in the world are we going to get the time if you're a busy person how are we going to get the time to do some kind of me time so that you can recuperate so that you can go back and let me just say this some kind of piece of advice here listen if the job you are doing is like what i was doing or even worse where you are spending a maximum or let me say a minimum of 12 hours a work from Monday to Saturday, it is not advisable for you to keep doing that work, especially if it's over one year. Over one year you're doing that, you're going to die, you're going to drop dead. You're going to become like a machine who doesn't think about goals, doesn't think about their purpose, doesn't think about this and doesn't think about that. There is a particular point in time and in life where there are projects that are daunting that we need to burn the midnight lamp and we burn our candles on both ends so for those projects we push and we push and we push and then when they are done we take some time and we rest we recover we recuperate we don't make a 12 hour day to be the mainstay of our lives unless we are slaves and i know people will argue and they say you know hard work is important and so on and so forth you cannot sustain that kind of a life right for a long period of time for years on end for two years three years one year on end doing exactly that hard work is good but so is rest and recuperation and recreation so is your life you are the cog you are the most important element 
in the equation of productivity. So if you do not take care of yourself, guess what? You will not have enough time. You will not be living too long to be productive at the end of the day. We will continue with this in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye. A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.